Alright, hey everybody, this is Warner Wisdom. Uh, I've had two glitches here, I've actually followed the wrong dog, but uh, what we're going to do, we left off with uh, Route 5 on the Basic Run Island lap. If you recall, that was a dog that basically uh, we pick up off old Ironsides, leads us behind the falls, and we don't pass, we just stay with him, he wide off towards the ruins and then runs back to the beach. And uh, that was Route 5, I'm trying to remember if passing him will just lead us to Route 6 or if there's actually a 7th route at that point with another dog that passes that dog. That's the way I kind of remember it, but we're going to have to go in and find out. And of course we've got the cat, but uh, without further delay we're going to go ahead and get started. I had an issue last time, I actually didn't pass, I was thinking the dog was farther along and uh, you know, something stupid, so. <laughs> I started to just follow the cat, but I mean all the narration had already been about how we were going to do Route 6 behind the falls, so I just decided to scrap it. But, uh, there's that lady, I don't know her name, she obviously didn't strike me as worth remembering. But uh, If you know it, if you let that cutscene go through, if you ever need a breather, it's basically just your me doing uh, some stretches and everything. And again, the hardest part here is going to be not passing our guide or the me. Uh, you know, there are times that you could possibly pass the me, like maybe right here, and not follow the dog. But, you know, the bottom line is, if you're doing this, trying to make a playthrough, you don't want to make a stupid mistake and then have to start over. Uh, I mean, granted, you can edit it out, but, you know, the file size is really big and you've got to cut the commentary and resync it and you know it's easier just to get it right the first time so hence why I restarted <laughs> you know but the one we're gonna follow is the uh, tan dog with the red collar should pass us any time now basically like at the apex here there it comes okay so if you recall, this is the dog here that actually leads you behind the falls and to the beach. So we're actually going to follow him behind the falls and then take one. I'm thinking there's two more, but regardless, I know there's at least one more. There's a good shot of the falls and the swing bridge. I don't think I mentioned that last time, so I'm sure you noticed it, but you know, just in case you didn't. And it is cool, that's a brick bridge. Which I've probably said before. But like I said a lot of times with these dogs. You know, they take really, really, really wide turns, <laughs> so, you know, it actually looked more like it was going to go up that diamond-plated piece, but then it'll angle back at the last second, <laughs> and uh, that's when you realize it's just a very wide turn, so. We'll say this while I'm here, if you're ever on the bike, and uh, I know a lot of people go for, you know, the uh, advanced users, kind of have a little thing going in the uh, free run, popping the balloons. If you're ever coming down here, uh, don't go <laughs> in the water. Uh, sometimes it's hard not to. But here's what will be our sixth route. I want to say this dog gets passed. Uh, you know, usually I think it's right up here, past the Y, but I could be wrong. Apparently I am. <laughs> so I guess where this one's going to take us will be uh, 
Seems like it's the castle courtyard and you might be able to see Duckling Lake. At least that's kind of what I'm thinking tentatively. <laughs> Which again, for the playthrough, uh, as of right now, this is uncharted territory. So, a lot of people, if you got Wii Fit Plus, quit playing. Or, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe it's like been sticking to the basics or didn't know you could follow the dogs or just hadn't followed this one. Uh, it's actually a uh, pretty extensive area up here, so it's worth checking out. This is probably my second favorite route. Uh, first would be the one across the swing bridge with the jump, and uh, I think I prefer this one over the beach. But coming around, you'll see the castle. Uh, right well it's not a good shot but that little body of water to our left is duckling lake that's actually where you canoe or at least where you start to canoe on uh we sports resort so but like i said the finish line is going to be right up here through the castle courtyard I guess just a little ways past it. But that way you get to go through the whole castle, so pretty cool. I think there's a nice overlook too. Alright. That should be four star. Yeah, we got 172. Uh, again, you know the fact we kinda got behind that one dog. Got to speed up and then got to pass again. We only had to slow down once, so that's kind of reflective of the overall score. But, uh, again, that's a pretty cool route. Uh, what they do here with the camera, you know, it's like a, jeez, it's like you're on top of the volcano. Uh, you know, it's pretty sweet. You get to see the falls from the top. Uh, you can see that bridge right there is the one that's by the castle. And uh, there's the falls, the swing bridge. The castle's back right at the top of the screen in the middle at this point. Uh, that's a cool shot there. <laughs> that's, uh, again, most of you probably don't care about that, but you know we're here. If you didn't know this was an option, you do now. And uh, really one of the more unique routes, but for some reason I just like the basic one. Just there we see the swing bridge. Uh, that that is my personal favorite, but. Uh, <laughs> This was Route 6. There wasn't actually another dog like I for some reason thought there was. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead, uh, I'll grab some water. But uh, we'll do Route 7, which will be our, pretty sure it's the final route. And it'll be the cat that you get to at the hotel. Uh, off the top of my head, I honestly have no clue unless that takes us to the ruins. But we're going to go in and uh, see what it does. Still nowhere near placing, much less my personal best, but uh, here's the stats for everybody. Six minutes, 35 calories. So again, you know, generally what I do is some yoga, you know, maybe stretch prior to that, and then, you know, if you're so inclined, then do the run for the simple fact you're not killing the balance board batteries. So maybe it's because I'm thrifty, you know, maybe it makes sense, I don't know, but uh, that's what I do. Uh, I'll retry here, so... Again, we're going to unfortunately have to follow her until we get to the hotel, but on the bright side, we kind of will give us a chance to catch our breath a little bit better, so, which we're about to pass the woman, which I say this every time, but you know, just in case someone from Nintendo happens to see this, oh jeez, okay, uh, yeah, prime example of what I just did there, uh, there's a Wii Fit edition for the Wii U or Wii Fit 3 or something in any however they reincarnate this game I'd really like to see that addressed where you can just like press up to pass and follow the new guide or down to stay with the current one <laughs> you know then you could maintain your speed 
It uh, for the advanced users or just you know people exploring, it would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> but uh, there's the dog. Of course, it'll take you to Route Five and Route Six, and I'm at a standstill going downhill on a bridge. Yes, we see you, dear. Thank you for waving. <sighs> but you know, it's only times like these that that annoys me. You know, it's usually something I kind of think is neat, but... Okay. It's actually, you know, there's quite a bit of distance between old Ironsides and the hotel when you're actually out running it, so... And then that cat cuts off to the left. I just, for the life of me, uh, maybe that is the one that goes up the ruins and doesn't just stop in the courtyard. I think it might go around the temple or something. But Or I'm just, you know, remembering that from something else. But Okay, here's our cat. Note it is a cat, it's not a dog. So... I'll we'll take it off up here to see where it takes us. Actually, earlier, uh, you know, of course, when the Dazzle had the audio issues, and I didn't think I'd have a good score anyway, uh, I got a 180 on the driving range with the driver, which is the most difficult. Uh, perfect score course would have been what yeah I guess 200 so I thought that was pretty cool I actually shut the computer down <laughs> and uh, came back in at the end to video that so I guess I should run faster <laughs> that's a cool overlook of the city you can start to hear the falls I'm actually going to go across the swing bridge, I guess. I don't really know why I prefer the swing bridge over the castle route, but I mean, to me, it's just, I don't know. Personally, I like it better. Uh, it's totally personal preference. Which, I mean, it sounds lifelike. I know I say that a lot, but, I mean, that's really what it sounds like, you know, if you kind of jog across a plank bridge. So, I thought, thought the rope is kind of a nice touch. But I think this will be the ruins route. Uh, when we get up here, instead of taking the overlook and jumping off, I think we'll go to the right kind of between that rock by the star <laughs> yeah that's where we're going which there's another star <laughs> you, know. you actually do this route uh, might be the training plus uh, maybe just like the long run or something and uh, there's usually a bunch of moles on the springs right there I mean, at this point, I'm, I guess, 95% sure that this will take us up to the temple, so. Which, again, it's actually a pretty good run, <laughs> just to get there. Which, at this point in time, it doesn't look like it, but it's just because you can't see that peak, you know, on the island. There you can finally see it. So 
least this way people won't think I'm crazy. <laughs> But you know, on the bike, it doesn't seem like a truly a huge island. But if you ever actually run it, uh, you kind of start to appreciate the size of it, you know. Which it is big on the bike, it's just you go a lot faster, you know, so it doesn't seem as bad. And again, even the cats make really wide turns, so... She'll angle over there here in a second. I like how it's kind of last minute, <laughs> you know. Looks like the cat might head towards the beach. It actually kind of does like a little bit of a pump fake, you know. If you care to rewind, go ahead. <laughs> That's the way I see it. But I think on the uh, training plus for one of these, the finish line is actually right above the ramp. And then there is another one, which I can't think of which, which is which. But uh, you actually go up a little farther into the temple. So... Let's see if we can pass this one up here. I think we can. Sweet. And here we are. Which would be cool if you like had to climb the temple too. Not so. Regardless, we got a 153 calorie incinerator, four star rank. Uh, that route's not bad, it's just, for some reason, I personally have never been a huge fan, <laughs> you know. That is cool, you get to go to the ruins. Uh, a little hole in the ground, a lot of people think that opens. Uh, I've been playing this a long time, <laughs> you know. You can't actually go down in there on your bike. That's actually, you can't tell, but that's kind of terraced. Uh, but I've never seen it open, so that's just pointless. It's kind of like unlocking Waluigi, you know, Super Mario 64 DS. You can spend your life on it if you want to. But uh, she knows maybe something, you know, maybe Wii Fit 3, you know, they'll have some stuff like that. Or you can enter the temple, you know, do special activities or something. But anyway, none of that matters. Got 153, four stars. Uh, again, it won't be even close to registering, but, you know, regardless, we got our four stars. Alright, that took eight minutes, 50 calories. Uh, reason that one took eight compared to six, just because we had to go behind the me longer. Had more that we couldn't pass, so that's probably your two minutes right there. But, uh, that actually should wrap up the uh, aerobics basic run island lap which actually wraps up that whole installment right there the basic run uh, I have to do the two-player run which I have never done and then the free run which you know sadly that's just the island lap I don't want to know if I'm blowing that for anyone but you know I thought maybe you could just like kind of use the Wiimote you know d-pad and like pick where your route went but basically just go circles around the whole island so uh, anyway the basic run is one of my personal favorites uh, it's actually probably what I've played the most in all honesty you know that cycling and the jackknife and soccer hitting uh, you know my again my personal favorite would be the uh, route you know shortly after the start where we actually get to go across the swaying bridge and jump down uh, second would be the castle and third would be the beach this one's not bad I'm sure some people might like it the best but uh, for me you know those other three are the top dogs but uh, yeah this will actually be I guess I'm gonna title this like part 2-3 and I think I'm gonna have to make two parts of that but uh, regardless we've just wrapped up the island lap series and the basic run 
And now uh, we've done most of these. I basically just have to do the two player run, the free step, and the free run. Which sadly, those are going to take a long time. Uh, yeah, I mean, 30 minutes, so that's a whole video right there. Uh, sadly, it'll be really boring too. I don't, maybe I'll flip on the TV for you. I don't know. But again, none of that matters right now. We got the basic run done. Which again, it's one of my personal favorites in the whole game, you know, regardless of, you know, the fact it was in Wii Fit as well. But, uh, I think that's all the routes. I'll go double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to ask here on YouTube or the blog, whichever works best for you. And, uh, as always, uh, thank you for watching.